Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Lightspeed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This week we continue with the questions, some questions from Chantel, great questions, and uh, we're going to go through them in a moment. Vale, entonces hablamos de todo en la siguiente parte. And if you like the content, please hit the like button and subscribe because it's free. And remember that if you like this kind of content and you want us to continue giving free content, then you can help us by joining. All you have to do is click the join button and you, there's a couple of options. And you can even join us in our live lessons as well and ask questions directly to us. Eso es. Okay. Muy bien. Vale. First question. And this is an interesting one, okay? And I had a little look to see if I could find the answer, but you might know. Okay. Um, when Spanish people are counting from three to one, three to one, okay? <laughs> from three to, to one. To one. Three to one. <laughs> three to one. Yeah. Oh, no, that's that way, isn't it? They do that. Three to one. That, that was a, a program that used to be on the TV. Um, oh, my God. Okay. It's just so sad that you've got to do it that way. We'll just do it like the um, European way. That's like how they we do. used to do it. What was the program? No, I can't was remember it? the program. Three, two, no. Ah, uh, two. Two. Like, two. Uh, two, yeah, like two. that. The German Three, way. Two, yeah. One. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Safer for you. Spanish people say tres, dos, una. Tres, dos, uno. Tres, dos, uno. Tres, dos, uno. But, but sometimes they'll say una. If or we una, start, start, when we start, start, we can say una, dos, y tres. Right. And sometimes but if it's a down, la una. A las do, a la dos y a la tres, ¿no? Something like that. But you can say a la de una, a la de dos a la de. y a la de tres. And what's that? Es, a la de. Um, at the time we say one, at the time we say two, at the time we say three. So it's la vez. I suppose. You think. Mm -hmm. O a la que digamos una, a la que digamos dos, a la que digamos tres. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing. Okay. Pero a favor, right. a, la de, a la de una. So, o a la una, a las dos, o a las tres. But always if you're counting up. If you're counting down, are you going to say uno? Tres, dos, uno, yes. Tres, dos, uno. We, we don't say tres, dos, una. Okay. But on the way up, una, dos, tres. On the way up, you can say uno o una. Okay. okay. Uno, dos, tres, o una, dos, tres. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It doesn't matter, either or. But yeah. counting down, tres, dos, uno. Okay. Okay, bien. Sí. That's, that, that, yeah, and it's... A la de... Uh -huh. una. A la de una, a, a la, la de, de dos, dos y a la de tres. Okay. Now, in that case, you would have to say una. una. A la de una, no uno. Okay. So, a la de una... A la de una, work. a la de dos, a la de tres. Ok, great. Tres, dos, uno... Mm -hmm. Uno, dos, tres. <laughs> ok. So, another question that Chantel has is about the use of ya. 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 Okay. But it's funny the way that she's... It's the overuse of ya, she's put... She says, I'd say as she under, listens, use. under use. <laughs> Why is it used so frequently? It seems sometimes to be quite redundant. It's not redundant. It's just it has so many uses. It has so many meanings. This but, is the issue. Yeah. yeah. Like in English, sometimes you don't have all of the meanings. No. So you don't have a word. You don't have a word for it. Sometimes. Yeah. You and Anna did a lesson when, when we did our last... We did. Um, we did. Uh, immersion, immersion course. course, and you and Anna did a did yes. a lesson on that. Yes. But gem is a general. So ya is a general is already. Yeah, well, I mean we have or, a video on the uses of of ya. I mean you can you can yeah, check yeah, that. I'm sure we sure, can yeah. put the link somewhere. Uh -huh. uh, not to repeat ourselves, but sure. there are also expressions in which we use ya. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but the, generally it means already or now. Okay. Yeah. Already now, now I know I know um, uh, enough yeah um, ya basta mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. enough already exactly all right already um, something that will happen eventually um, yeah you know. so I'll leave a, a link already I'll leave, I think. yeah already yeah I'll leave a link uh, from the for the the lesson where it, it, Anna and, and Cynthia explain it in in depth yeah. So, the next question that Chantel has is an interesting one. It's about the use of the expression mande. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mande. Mande. And 
She said, this is a common expression, one she's heard, she hadn't heard it before until she spent time with Mexican people, okay? Um, and she, basically, it's used in the, in the context she's talking about, it's like that, uh, what? Yes, when you when somebody says something and you don't understand, and then you say, mande, like, say again, come mm -hmm. again, yeah. yes. And it comes from the word mandar. Yes. And it's an usted command, yeah? Exactly. Mande, it's like, tell me. Yeah, tell me. What yeah. to do, yeah? Yeah. The the, uh, re the human resources man who worked in Mexico, I would go to see him and and I would say uh, something and you'd say, mandame. So he used to say to me all the time, mandame. Maybe you would say, mandame. Or mandame, mandame usted, yeah. But, mandame. Mm -hmm. mm. But that was, you know, tell me, send me. Send me, tell me what you want me to do, uh -huh. yeah? Sí. Yeah, it's very common in Mexico. We don't use that in, in Spain, uh, the Monday. No, it, it's a more... Unless we, we do it for fun, like Monday, but Monday. No, we don't... I hear more como, if you want sí, somebody... como, and then obviously perdone, disculpe, mm -hmm. or... Or uh, like, if, you, if, you, if somebody said something to you and you don't understand, rarely would you use que. Right? No, que... Mm. It's a bit more abrupt, okay? Yeah. Oh, I mean, if you're with, I'm, I'm with Gon, for example, if he says something, I say, okay? Sure, sure. But in other circumstances, I, we tend to say, como? Uh-huh. O como dices? Como dice, yeah. Mm -hmm. O como dice usted. Uh, como dices, como dice, uh, como on its own. Um, yeah. And sometimes, como, perdone, you know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we would tend to say, como. Como would be the safest one. Yeah. Yeah, but certainly in, in Mexico, Monday is very, 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 yes. very common. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, at least before. I don't know if they still use it, but they, they used to use it a lot so. before. So maybe probably they yeah. still do. Yeah, my reference is 20 years old now. So yes. I don't know. Things change. I mean, the Spanish in, in Spain's changed, doesn't it? It has. From usted yeah. de vosotros. Usted es de vosotros a lot. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which I like, actually. Yeah. I feel more comfortable using vosotros. I mean, more comfortable in, like, talking to people. Yeah. In the vosotros, rather than ustedes. Ustedes sounds way more, f way too formal nowadays. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, with some people, it feels more comfortable to use ustedes. Yeah, exactly. Still you, feels still better do, yeah. than, hey, we're pals. Uh -huh. Like, with elderly people, for example. Yeah. I feel better using ustedes, unless they tell me otherwise. Do you know what was really funny? Um, a guy came to fix a pool, okay? And... In the whole conversation, we were using tu, okay? But every, like, when he was going to finish, he would say, no se preocupe usted, right? But all the way through the conversation, he was using tu, and I was thinking, why, why do you have to just get to that little bit? I don't like, know. Just, I suppose it's like touches of... Yeah, a little bit of formality here. Yeah, yeah, formality, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. So, last question. Reflexive verbs. Right. How these are different. Me dices and dime. Okay. Me dices and dime. Neither of those are no, reflexive. It's not reflexive. They're, they're both indirect. Unless you want pronouns. to say, I tell myself, me then digo. that's reflexive. That would be me digo. Yeah. But me dices is not reflexive because you are telling me. Yeah. Dices is you. You say me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you tell me. The way you know, the way you know that a reflexive verb is a reflexive verb, it's got a pronoun. There's only one person involved. There's only ever one person involved. Okay, so it's got to be the same person. Me digo, te di, dices, se, se dice. dice. Okay, yes. that's only one that person. Be that would be reflexive. As soon as you get two people, it's not reflexive anymore. No. Right? It's not no. reflexive. So the di what is the difference between me dices... And dime. Okay. Luego me lo dices. ¿Vale? So, yeah, me dices is you tell me something. Siempre me dices cosas buenas. Mm. You always tell me, uh, you always tell me ni nice things. Yeah. Yeah. But dime is a command. It's tell me. Mm -hmm. Dime cosas buenas. Tell me good things, for example. Yeah. That would be the command. Yeah. So dime is tell me. Command. Tell me. Yeah, me dices you are telling me something. Or you tell me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Es. Well, muy bien. 
Muchas gracias, gracias eh, Chantel. Chantel por las preguntas y, y ha sido muy por encima todo esto, pero... Sí, bueno, pero pero, hemos y... cubierto todo, yo mm -hmm. creo. Muy bien. We're covering these por encima, I don't even know how you said that in English. Just over the top. Over the, just gem, uh, over on the surface. However, every single one of these subjects we have done in-depth lessons on. We have. If you want to find them, all you have to do, it's the easiest thing in the world. You go to our website, you go to the search bar and you write in the subject. In English. Always write in English because the titles are in English. And you'll get all of the lessons that are available on that. We've been making lessons for 15 years. What there is, it's more easy to find what there isn't. <laughs> Right, because what there is, we I have I can't even remember what there is now. All right, but search on the page and you'll find it's like And you can see us through time. Exactly. You go back, Whoa, look at Gordon's <laughs> hair. <laughs> look, Cynthia was pregnant. Now she's not. Now she's pregnant again. Now she's not. Yeah. You've seen us in all shapes, sizes and positions. <laughs> Bueno, entonces eso es todo, chicos. Ahora nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego, adiós. Adiós.